Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making a super simple, easy dessert that you can probably make with things you have in the pantry already. And it comes from this book. This is Gullah Geechee Home Cooking by Emily Meggett, and they're called Cracklin Rolls. And these are created by Emily's daughter, Elizabeth, also known as Dee Dee. And there they are. They look delicious and they're so super simple because they're made with sandwich bread, cream cheese, and cinnamon sugar. Sounds delicious. Now, I love these kinds of recipes where you can use ingredients you have already to make something fast, quick, and easy. I think this is something that the kids could even make for themselves, a little snack, or they can make dessert too. I love involving my children in the kitchen. It just brings me so much joy. Yes, steps, recipes take longer, but it's just so much fun to cook together and i find the kids really enjoy it too because they find that the food tastes better because they've participated in the making of it so the first thing we're going to need is some basic sandwich bread plain old simply boring white bread and i'm going to need a cutting board because we're going to remove the crust so we need a loaf of bread just grab a stack of bread and all we're gonna do is remove the crust. So I'm using a serrated knife here and just taking off all the crust. If you were like me as a child, you didn't like crust. <laughs> I just didn't like the taste of it. I felt like there was nothing on it. There's no cheese or meat or any kind of sauce on it. And I think it was also the texture, but also the flavor, I don't know, I now eat my crust but as a kid i did not like crust so my mother very kindly cut it off for me <laughs> and my youngest child doesn't like crust i don't cut it off for him though he just leaves it behind okay so there we have it a beautiful stack of bread that's completely crustless this removing of the crust will facilitate the rolling so this will not go to waste my chickens will be very grateful for these or you could cut these up and toss them in a little bit of butter, salt, garlic powder, and make croutons. For the filling, I've got one brick or eight ounces of cream cheese that I've warmed up a little bit in the microwave so that it is nice and soft and mixable. And I'm gonna be using my spatula. And to that, we're gonna add some powdered sugar, sweeten things up a little bit. This will also be very easy to mix into the cream cheese, and it won't leave any kind of gritty texture at all. It's basically like a cream cheese frosting, right? Yum. So mix that well. In fact, I'm gonna use my whisk to see if I can get all those lumps out. But I think a few lumps is actually fine. <laughs> right? Couldn't be easier. All right. Scrape down the sides, make sure everything is well incorporated. Okay, there's our filling. Now we need to prepare our sugar coating. So in this pan, I've got some granulated sugar and we're just gonna make some cinnamon sugar by adding cinnamon. <laughs> this stuff is so handy for cinnamon toast, for French toast. It smells so good too. And just gonna mix that in. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so shake that all in. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to melt my butter. This is one stick of butter. Okay, so while I'm melting my butter, we can now assemble our little rolls. Alrighty, so I've got a baking pan lined with some parchment, and that's where we'll put our rolls when we're done assembling them. So we've got our melted butter here, and now we are ready to assemble. Right, first thing we're going to do is take our bread, and we're gonna just roll it out a little bit. Just flatten it. That's gonna be our crust. See, 
flatten it out. That will help us roll it up. Take a spoon of our cream cheese, right on one end, and then roll it up, just like a little cigar. Cute. Push it down. I should have think flattened that down a little bit more so it'll stay rolled up. Okay, there we have our little sausage. Then we're going to dip it into the melted butter. Ooh la la. And then into the cinnamon sugar. Ooh la la. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Then place it on our baking tray, like that. And then we're gonna pop these into a preheated 350 degree oven and bake them for about 20 minutes or until they're nice and beautiful and golden. And then you can serve them warm or at room temperature. It couldn't be any easier, right? So simple and so easy. Okay, I'll see you in about 20 minutes. my lovelies my crackling rolls are ready oh my gosh they smell so good <laughs> look at these look at these they look so good with the cream cheese oozing out of them I'm going to stack them up onto a plate and then we'll give them a taste Oh my gosh, the outside, I see why they're called crackling rolls. It makes a crust. Ah, oh, lovely. That combination of cinnamon sugar and butter has made a crispy hard shell on the outside. Oh, these are gonna be awesome. Wow, those look good. Lovelies, these look incredible. I wish you could smell them. But if you know the smell of cinnamon sugar, you know exactly what these smell like. <sighs> With butter. Mm, look. Look at that. Listen to the outside. Yeah. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Alrighty, my first taste of crackling rolls. Here we go. Itadaki mas. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boy, is that good. It's like really decadent cinnamon toast. The cinnamon sugar coating on the outside with the butter creates almost a crust, like a caramelly candy crust. Then you get the bite of the bread. The bread actually kind of fluffs back up a little bit, even though we flattened it, which I really recommend. Really flatten the bread out. It really helps to keep the roll in its roll shape, otherwise it will want to unfurl. And then in the middle, you've got that hot, cream cheese filling in there that's slightly sweetened. It tastes a little bit like cheesecake. And that tanginess is really welcomed because it's so sweet, but so delicious. Mm hmm So good and so easy. Mm. Mm. The crunch is absolutely wonderful. It's a crackly, sugary, kind of candy crunch that kind of crumbles and breaks apart. Yet, it's very familiar. If you've ever had cinnamon toast, I love that kind of granular crunch of granulated sugar and cinnamon together. You get that, but it's elevated and bigger. And then you get a little bit of the chew of the bread and then that gorgeous, sweet, cream cheesy filling in the middle. Super simple and utterly delicious. Mm. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. Mm. All righty, my lovelies, there you have it. A super simple, scrumptious, easy to put together dessert. Perfect for any time, and most likely you have all the ingredients in your pantry already. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.
All right, these are all for me. Bye. Mm.